Well, hello again here at Painting with Jane, and I'm concluding the year of filming uh, weekly videos at this location here close to my home, Burnaby Lake. There's lovely birds here singing away in the morning, and I've come often to walk and uh, observe the nature here and notice the community setting of uh, Nature Presents with the grasses all being different uh, types and living in a community amongst the lily pads and the different types of birds all here in community with the trees and it's just a lovely setting to appreciate how nature uh, manages to uh, work with us to to be part of a community and I appreciate the community of viewers that has watched my videos and I will continue to provide some but not as uh, regularly so over the course of the year I've uh, put different colors on my palette I used a number of different palette boxes and easels I've also used uh, various panels and canvas from uh, wood panels and particle board gessoed a few times uh, with uh, cotton panels and linen panels that uh, I have here today and all these help to uh, explore brushwork and uh, to, to see what we can capture uh, on, on our uh, plein air paintings quickly and also with uh, purpose and that's what I hope uh, these videos have helped uh, sort of present and We'll see what happens today on this linen panel. Okay, and we're timing 37 minutes just to get an exercise in responding quickly to the beautiful scene here at Burnaby Lake. And I'm going to start with uh, the dark tones that I see right here and start uh, placing in some of the shapes. And so this is one shape with the bushes in the front here, roughly. And I can use a cloth to wipe away some of this and get some nicer color in here and that'll be one shape right there and when the buzzer goes I'm going to stop and the reason why I've picked 37 minutes it's a little over half an hour and that should be enough to grab uh, the gesture of this scene and it's what Robert Ginn um, recommended to us painters uh, to, to experiment with uh, how we paint and um, by painting quickly you don't really have that much time to think about things you're responding but using all the elements of what you know from your previous painting experience and putting them on your panel. Now I, I'm tempted to put some little sparkles in. I sometimes do just as a reminder to what I see at that moment because the light changes and it's just a nice color note that I might like to respond to so I'm placing it there right now even though I usually keep these things till the end but I like to throw things around so these are some of the darker shapes I see and I've decided to put the horizon of course at the top not in the middle and now a big brush stroke through for the greens the the brighter greens that are in the grasses there they're still muted and um, neutral these greens I've mixed them with a bit of uh, orange or red to make uh, the more natural look of these greens. But I can push it with a bit more yellow and then you get this highlight on the, the green grasses. And I'm turning my brush to get different tones that are on it being placed on the linen panel here. And I'm breaking up the line and color as well. Lovely highlight here. So I'm just placing it there right now. Maybe even a pure green. Just little suggestions of the grass. It can be one big brushstroke. And those experiences of the brushwork have been laid down by all the 37 stroke paintings that I've done because you have to come in with the brush and practice not lifting and and extending the brush as far as you can. There's shadows here and the reflections of the green, so I'm placing those in right away. There's a really rich green. I'm going to add ultramarine and to the green. And this is a rich tone of the grasses there underneath. So 
It's a lovely rich tone with the deep ultramarine blue and viridian. So you can actually take out this lift with a brush or tool. Hello duck, nice little song. Songbirds here in the morning. Uh, some of the beautiful varieties of birds that form the community here at Burnaby Lake. Uh, always inspiring how they all manage to get their breakfast and enjoy a sunny day or find shelter on a windy or rainy day. So this is negative painting. I'm painting around some of these grasses. It's not red up there, so I'll just keep that tone down here. And just carrying it through. See, even the brush can lift some. This underpainting uh, gives you a good sense of structure. You can actually do a whole painting uh, as an underpainting with just uh, one tone. You can also tone the whole canvas and then paint on top when it's dry or semi-dry. Uh, but I like to try to play on the values that I see even with this first take. Okay, now um, just grabbing it as fast as I can. There's this drift wood here, piece of wood that's been semi-submerged. Get some more darks underneath these grasses. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little note in the twinkle of the water there. And now I'm gonna bring that. It's light there, so I'll leave that for now. And come in here. So for large spaces and limited time, get as big of a brush as you can, get the right color mix, and start laying it in. A little duck there, maybe I'll put him in too. Okay, there's a whole bunch of little geese here, and they're all different colors, uh, but I'm gonna get them as just little dots. There's some on this log here, so this little guy like that. for me. There's a little duck that came right up here. And try to grab them in here like that. You can always paint around. Try to get the duck shape there. Maybe there's going to be a big Canada goose here, hiding in the... Ah, oh, now let's make another duck. So, easiest is a bigger brush. Just get the gesture. And I think I've uh, managed to get the gesture here at Burnaby Lake with um, a 37-minute painting, grabbing what I can in a limited time to 
hopefully just get a gesture and expression of the natural community here at Burnaby Lake with all the ducks and geese and uh, again say thank you for this day. I thought I'd start with just a little underpainting um, like I did in the last painting with a little bit of pink just to sort of add a difference to the water and lay that in as a background color. So I'll just put that in here. It's quite strong.